Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition. <laughs> Forgot what day it was. Welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Tuesday, March 8th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Wednesday crosswords. On the mini leaderboard from yesterday, today must be the uh, the proudest day of PB Geckner's life. Because he won, he beat me yesterday, and he tied me today. So uh, big shout out to PB Geckner, so proud of you. Then we had stickers, Redwick, the Glorp, Murray Unicorn, Bill Boris, Herman Chow, Kimball, Hoopla, Jaywoo, and Brave Stanley, all under 30 seconds. Then we had E. Yarrell, Gordo A.M., Bull Sun, Phil, A plus B, Cape God, Justin, and Jay, under one minute. Jay's faster and faster every day. Then we had the singular Ball Don't Lie at 101. Shout out to Ball Don't Lie. Anyway, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Wednesday crosswords. So here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Paleo? Eon? Pride? No. Space out. Uh, this is shame, right? Meow. Craw. I. Harry. Harry Styles. Oh, wow. Just trying to figure out. That's a hidden capital there. The S of Styles. Shame, Paleo, Argon, Craw, and I. Had a tough time with that one. Maybe PB Geckner will uh, we'll get another win t tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Peter Gordon today. Here's your spoiler alert if you'd like to play along. Pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, without further ado, let's see what Peter Gordon has in store for us. Let's get into it. Italian sauce, hat so to speak, maybe rolls, Siri is to Apple as Alexa, C to Pennsylvania is Adams County, this is Olay's, USSR, Harsh, per this is Sewer, Severe maybe, Ute, Elliot Kazan, Little Nabisco Crackers, Ritz Bits, is it a Z or an S? It's an S, Bill Gates. Jeopardy impossibility a tie. Is that right? Place is a site. Imparts its values. Okay. Letter. 25% of the week. Wait, is Zeta here? Bag brand. This is Eerie. Mother of Beyonce and Solange Knowles. And requests. So asks. Flowering plants. Azaleas. Name for an ophthalmologist. Iris. Uh. Ziploc. Pink here. You, you and I should eat that. Let's have it. Affected by ennui. This is Jet Li. Jaded. That's nice. Extrude here. Hutus. Palestinian present. 2005. Don't know it. High point. Essential point. Crux and acne, maybe? Oops. Really typing poorly here. Spoil. Maybe Mar? Rag. A uh, boss? Gettysburg. Kid at a college bar who seems to me as a bouncer team to allow in. Dodgers might not pay it. Tax? Student. This is an aid. I. Oh, student eyed card. I see. And let's have IT. Adult something? Adult movie? Speak historically. Rave? It's day, maybe. These are dyes. Oh, it's rant and malts here. Botch. This is Jan. Really can't type today. Easter item that the woman is going to decorate. Dog breed. Cool and old slang. More mus. But a copy flaw. Tell me if you recognize me from just my voice and the feel of my hands over your eyes. Guess who? Wow. That's that's funny. This is opts. Waiter said this video restaurant might be handed them. It declares openly. Of vows or of vers? Short johns. Hmm. This is here's. 
nowhere to be found. MIA, like helium, inert, sure-footed pack animals. Is it asses? Sponsored boys at baptisms. God's sons. Whole bunch. Slew? With a couple dressed in lupine costumes said. So, we're wolves. I see. Miss Dew? Labs. Uh, pagers. Desert like. Sarah Arid. Number that's often in Italian. Aria. For Pete's sake. This is Arid. Smudge here. Risk territory. Yakutsk. Yaks. King. Yeah, I think that's all right. Taui Siege. So it's Era. Wets. Yeah. Terry Gar. And still. Uh, public which stands. One nation under under God, indivisible. All. <laughs> Egg shell paint. Fat. All right. So this is phrases where one of the words has an apostrophe added to change it to to miss a uh, to reinterpret it as a contraction. Let's have it. Is let's have it a, a phrase? All right, so okay, I, I guess I don't get this one, but this one is a student I'd card. I, I would card that student. An eggshell paint and we're wolves, which is kind of cute, but I don't get let's have it. I'm missing some kind of reference to something. song yeah without an apostrophe but what what are the let's <laughs> oh gosh maybe i should look for the definition of let's not this one Here during which a room or property is rented. I don't think it's that either. It's a sublet. Yeah, I don't think it's the racket sport version of let either. Well, archaic. No. <laughs> okay, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Let's have it meaning. Oh, this is just the wordplay blog. It gives the what for. Oh, I see, I see, I see. If you let someone have it, there's no apostrophe there. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. You let someone have it. Student, I had car... I'd card, eggshell paint, and werewolves. I think werewolves and student eyed card are actually fairly funny. Um, yeah, so just reinterpreting words into contractions. It's, uh, seems like kind of a classic wordplay theme. Apparently not on my not on my sharpest at the moment. Yeah, Zeta is surprisingly early. Because you think of it as a Z. Which you think should be last, but it's definitely Omega. It is a capital, it is the same thing as a Z. What does it sound like in German? Sorry, in Greek. See? My brain is, um. Yeah. Greek phonetic. What is it? Oh, it actually does sound like something like Z. Yeah, as a mathematician, to me, zeta is sometimes a complex number, or the Riemann zeta function. Uh, often a complex number, often a, a root of unity. J 
Jet Li. I haven't seen live action Mulan. I have a long rant about live action Disney movies, so I just sort of don't watch them as a rule. If you want to know more, let me know <laughs> in the comments below. Terry Gar's classic cross crosswordies. Yeah, I didn't know a boss. Palestinian presidents. I guess my knowledge goes up to about Yasser Arafat. Mahmoud Abbas, that does sound familiar. Uh, would have been hard for me to come up with. Are these... These are the same people, right? Or are these different people? Yeah, these are the same person for just... Maybe this, this is the official portrait. Okay. Because he looks pretty different in these two pictures. It looks like he lost some weight. Maybe it's a stressful job. Crux. Got some interesting X's. I, there is like a, definitely an attempt made to have uncommon letters. I, I noticed some J's and some Z's. Right, some K's. So that, that, that's interesting. Yeah, Yakutsk. Home of the, the coldest um, city where people live in the world, Yakutia. The capital of the Saka Republic. Yakutia. Yeah, interesting to include as a risk board, but. I, th I do think werewolves is kind of cute. Era, yeah, that's Ireland in the language. Yeah, I wear different hats. Got Gettysburg, an adult movie, occupying these long slots. That's interesting. Oof, USSR. Yeah, Ritzbitz is nice. I wasn't sure about whether it ended with a Z, but... Yeah, this does feel a little bit like it was sponsored by Nabisco and Procter and & Gamble or something, but... I didn't know Tina Knowles. Is your last name Knowles? It is. Oh, I see. This is Beyonce. I know so I know so little. Beyonce has a daughter named Beyonce? She does. Oh, this is Beyonce. Oh I see, okay. Tina Knowles, aka Celestine. Huh. She's a costume designer. A businesswoman, fashion designer, and philanthropist. I, I didn't know that Beyonce's mother was famous, actually. So there you go, Tina Knowles. The J did, there's that J. I didn't know that Jeopardy couldn't end in a tie. Can't it, though? Oh, I see, there's a a tiebreaker but uh oh this is a recent article fans in all after rare tie, tie it's hard to end the show with the tie thanks to the final rounds bidding portion jeopardy has added a tiebreaker round okay so but i thought like it can end at a zero 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 tie where everybody loses There have been seven games where all three contestants were left with zero at the end of the episode. End of... That doesn't count as a tie? I think that counts as a tie. I disagree with that clue, but... And, and I wondered about it as I was going. I think this is a hilarious clue for Guess Who. Because it... 
explains in a lot of words what, what it actually is, which sounds kind of absurd. Tell me if you recognize me from just my voice in the field, my hands over your eyes. That's very cute. I like that a lot. That's the kind of thing that I find funny. Yeah. So yeah, I think that the clue is actually kind of fun. Um, it's sort of a classic theme. I, I like two of the themers more than the other two. And a definite attempt to have lots of uncommon letters, which, which adds something. Um, I disagree with some of it, but <laughs> yeah, it seems like a solid Wednesday. Seems like a solid Wednesday. To be honest, it's a little slow, but my brain seems to not be working that great today. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got stickers and KFS Venta not too far behind. I suspect there will be some people ahead of me tomorrow. Anyway. Hopefully that's you, but thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.